Alright guys, it's Kazmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead Michonne Edition. Uh, we're about to step out and talk to her dad, and I'm sure he's upset with us, and we gotta tell him that we probably have to move, because we were leaving blood on the ground. We need to get out of here. They're just gonna circle around and... And find the blood stain because he because she got shot and then they're just gonna follow us right to the door that we came in at and it's all her fault if she wasn't stealing i mean it sounds like they got some issues anyways if they murder those people on that boat and everything children a son I do mind your own business <laughs> oh it snowed the day my wife died Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. Erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids. But the past... It always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Or those... Whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah, he did. My boy. I should have never let him leave. I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. I wonder why the door was open. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <clears throat> well, we don't got a choice. We gotta kill him. We gotta kill him, guys. Nope, nope. Look to the left. Your other left. I'll take the one near the garden.
Oh man, that would hurt. There's three of us and one of him. Why is somebody else helping me? now, I guess. yourself a golden goose if you think I'm shitting any eggs forget it don't make this harder than it needs to be now why would I do a thing like that <laughs> how'd you find the house you know, I probably never would have. Except you left a trail of walker parts right to the front gate. Like some fucked up fairy tale. <laughs> Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit, she sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. Are you going to answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there. And I'm here. So, Miss Sean, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Don't want my piano playing days to be over so soon. Call off your sister, or I break every bone in your hand. I'll play nice. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Hey, I wasn't finished yet. Well, I was doing what you said, Michelle. Why can you not trust a face like this? <laughs> you said all you needed to. Nice try. That's not how radios work. You're supposed to release the button so she can talk back. Randall? I lost you. What what were you saying? Uh, whatever. Hello, Norma. Whatever. 
That's not how radios work. Did you hurt him? If you so much as breathe on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic. That's a fucking guarantee. Randall shot an innocent man in the head. Anything I did to him, he deserved. What Randall did, that was a mistake. And I'll make sure he knows it. But I'll punish him, not you. This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. We'll be there soon. <laughs> That's not what this I wanted to happen. Time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. <sighs> I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull, then Sam's, then yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids. You know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well, not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> What? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Sean, is that true? Yup. Please tell me he's fucking with us. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No. 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 James. If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. I'm not gonna sink to his level. Forget your pride or honor or whatever the fuck this is. He's more than earned being beaten to death. A girl left in my own heart. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! You kill him, then. You're the one who stole from I him. Say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Well, <laughs> I ain't had the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You're wrong, Randall. Am I? Well, maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. You know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. Now that is some biblical shit, ain't it? There's still a chance we can make things better. Don't tell me you still believe that lie, Michelle. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. Or died in, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't 
Don't talk about them. Either way, they're suffering. And Mommy isn't there. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of a world. Yes, that means the dance is over. Oh well, Norma will be here soon. Your funeral. Yeah, I thought I had to release the button so she could respond to him. But okay, we'll roll with what happened there. Eighty-two percent of the players stopped Pete. Seventy-three percent picked up the phone. I kind of wanted to go after the footsteps, but I don't know. She could have been hallucinating that too. Who knows what the heck's going on with her? Okay. Yeah, I, I made him speak to her for like a half a word. He just said hello, and I, <laughs> and I guess backed it out. All right, forty-seven percent showed mercy. Oh, there's there's my choices on that. So I don't know. I, I really don't like the way the radio conversation went down, but whatever. Um, there it is. There's that episode, and I guess tomorrow we'll start episode three. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Kesmir out.